In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Companion with the Stream Deck. Now, if you're wondering what Companion is, check out part one of this series where I go through the setup and configuration of the Companion software, and I show you a demo of it in action. In this video, I'm bringing in the Stream Deck into the mix. Let's get into it. My name is Patrick, and this is Everyday Tech, Everyday Tech for Everyday People. And today we're gonna to continue our talk on the Companion software by Bitfocus. Now Companion is a macro remote control software that lets you execute different tasks and lets you control either different software or different hardware devices, depending on your needs, that's compatible with the software. Now today we're gonna to talk about the Stream Deck, which is a hardware version of this type of device. And we're gonna show you how Companion works together with the Stream Deck. Just to recap where we left off from last time, we were able to create a number of buttons controlling both my ATEM Mini and OBS, and sometimes doing both of them. So these row buttons right here controls the different inputs on my A10 Mini. These row buttons control the different changing of scenes in OBS. And this is a combination of the two. So C1 is does both Cam1 and Main. C2 does Cam2 and my side-by-side -side view. So in this video, we're going to bring in the Stream Deck now. Now in order for this method to work here, you need to have the Stream Deck software closed. So if you have a Stream Deck ready, it's most likely that you already have the Stream Deck application running. So let me show you what uh, I see on my Stream Deck right now. And that is my default layout in the Stream Deck software. So what we need to do right now is quit the Stream Deck software first. Now the buttons disappear, right? But in order for us to use the companion software with the Stream Deck, now, to get that back, let's go to Surfaces and let's hit Rescan USB. And now the default layout that I put in my companion software is now showing up in my Stream Deck automatically. Now, if you want to be able to use the Stream Deck software with the companion software, I'll show you that in a moment. But for now, let's show you how this works out of the box. But if we go back to this shot of my Stream Deck here, as you can see, it's mimicking these buttons right here. Now this is where I regret only getting the Stream Deck Mini, but you can see how useful it'll be getting a Stream Deck XL or even a regular Stream Deck. So right now, I'm gonna be worrying about these six buttons right here. So I can actually replace the up page one buttons if I wanted to, or I can really have a page up and down and not worry about the page number buttons as well. So let's say I don't care about the page numbers here and I'm just going to keep the shot of my stream deck up but I'm going to start moving these buttons. Um, so what you can do is click on move, click on the button you want to move and a destination. And that re already replaces the page up number there and I'm going to do the rest for the three, uh, three of the four cameras here. I'm not using input four. And let's do the same thing with my scenes here. And there you go. And you can see that reflecting on my stream deck here. And I'm gonna go ahead and press camera one and you should see my face now. And so there you go, now it's working. And I didn't have to do any additional configurations. My stream deck is just plugged in via USB. Now remember, the stream deck software has to be closed for this method to work. So now I'm going to show you how you can use the Stream Deck app with Companion. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, there's certain things that the Stream Deck app supports that Companion doesn't. So one of those is Ecamm. I use Ecamm for live streams and for video recording. And I can, can do all the things I need to do with my Stream Deck, uh, with the Stream Deck app. So I can switch scenes, do different things. But vice versa, there are certain things, or there's a lot of modules in Companion that are not in the Stream Deck app itself. So one big thing that's personal to me is I can control my A10 Mini with Companion, but I can't control it with the Stream Deck app. So now we want to have the ability to use both the Stream Deck app and the Companion software, and along with all the plugins it supports, and use them at the same time. In order for this to work, you need to have the Stream Deck 
app open first and not companion. So if you had companion open, you need to shut down companion and you may need to restart the stream deck app. But after that, open the stream deck app and then open companion. You need to do it in that order first. That way the Stream Deck app takes the precedence and is the main driving force as far as the interface is concerned on the actual hardware device. I'm in the main Stream Deck app here, and this is the main interface that you use to configure the Stream Deck, whether it's a mini, regular, or an XL. Of course, I have the mini, so I only have six buttons here. So let me tell you what's going on here. I have the companion app running in the background as well. I launched that after I had the Stream Deck software launched. And I also installed the companion plugin for Stream Deck. So the Stream Deck has a companion plugin that allows you to communicate with the companion software as well. So as I mentioned before, the Stream Deck software does not support controlling the A10 Mini out of the box. So this is where Companion comes in. Now I'm in the main screen of my Stream Deck here and I have four different folders here. This is for Zoom, this is for Ecamm, Microsoft Teams, and I have a multimedia folder. We're gonna create a new folder for the A10 Mini here. So if we go here and create a folder, we can go ahead and drag and drop this into the position here. Now we have a folder created here. We're gonna call it ATEM. And let's go, go into that folder. And now we're gonna to need to put in the buttons from Companion. Now Companion plugin puts, in, puts it in the category of custom here. And there's a Companion button. And there's only really one action. And it's really to control the button here. It says CAM2 right now, because if we jump into the Companion software again, that's the position of where CAM2 was. But really, Back here, I want this to be cam one, cam two, cam three, cam four. So let me direct you into this area right here. This is a little number here. It says 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, all the way to 1.32. The first number represents the page number. The next number represents the button number. So it's 1.1, page one, button one, right? So let's go back into the stream deck. I want this to be camera one. I know that it's gonna be button one and again we just have to set it to the correct button here this i know this is button two this will be button three and this will be button four if i show what's my my video right here if i press cam two on my stream deck it switches to camera two and i strip camera one back to camera one now i have full control of my a10 mini using the Stream Deck software. So now we're gonna combine some things together. I'm gonna to duplicate what I did in part one of changing scenes in OBS and changing the input on my ATEM Mini, but this time I'm using Ecamm. I'm gonna change the scene in Ecamm and change the input on my ATEM Mini. So I've duplicated that side-by-side -side scene here in Ecamm that I had in OBS, and then we're gonna the, the end result of that button push will be this, will be the side-by-side -side view and my camera input two here. And then we're gonna do another button that goes to our main scene and our main camera view. So let's get that set up right now. Okay, so we're now back in our main Stream Deck app here and we're gonna create another folder for our custom combo things here. Go to Stream Deck and create folder. And we're gonna go ahead and call this combo. Let's go into that folder. Let's create a multi-action button here. This will allow us to execute multiple commands here. I'm gonna go ahead and call this C1, like we did in the previous video. And now we're gonna drag and drop both the ecam change or run scene command and the custom companion button. I'm gonna do the custom companion button first because sometimes that there is a little bit of a delay in that, just a very tiny bit. So you wanna kinda of do the slowest one first. And what we wanna do is it's already set onto button one. This says this page says dynamic, but I would do uh, specify the page that it's on. Sometimes it doesn't work. And that is input one on my A10 mini. Then we're gonna go into Ecamm Live here and drag and drop the run scene here. And we're gonna have the 
main scene running here. So we have our multi-action C1 button here. And now we're gonna do the same for this button here. We're gonna do the multi-action button here. We'll call this C2. And then drag and drop our companion button here. And this should be button two now. And we're gonna specify page one. Then we're gonna drag and drop our Ecamm scene here. And we're gonna do the side by side view. So let's see this in action. So now we're back to main scene, camera one, and I'm gonna hit C2 on my stream deck here and it should switch to the side camera here and the side by side scene. I'm gonna hit C1, we're back to the main view main scene, main camera. Now there was a little bit of a delay there and so you're gonna to have to play around with some of the settings. Now there isn't a delay that you can put in with the commands as far as I'm, I can see in the Stream Deck software like you can do in Companion, but that's something you'll have to deal with. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out part one of this series, especially if you're not very familiar with Companion. If you found this helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.